Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 22 player review. Today's player review is the level 30 storyline card, Gustavo Bo. And I just want to give a quick shout out to commenter Camboozle6, who did allow me to know that it's pronounced Bo and not Boy. So thank you very much for your contribution. And with that being said, let's get into the video. And this is the team on the screen that I've used for Gustavo Bo's review. So as you can see, I've linked him with Rui Diaz and Dempsey. Obviously Dempsey is important to get him onto 10 chem. And then the rest of the team is a Liga, Liga Nos hybrid. And to be honest, I actually thoroughly enjoyed using this team. So let's get onto the stats of Gustavo Bo. So after three games in division rivals, I scored nine goals and got one assist. So we will move into the gameplay so you can see each goal and assist. Into the gameplay section we go. So to be honest, I'm going to talk about how good I actually think this card is. And as you can see, the first clip is actually him shooting. But then there is the rebound from Rui Diaz. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And to be honest, this is a surprisingly good 84 rated card. I think as we see another rebound, but you take it when you can. He is 4 star 4 star, but realistically in game he feels like he has a 5 star weak foot. Now I believe Bo is right footed and you will see majority of his goals are actually with his left foot. And you'll see through the gameplay consistently he's actually incredibly agile. Now whether this is because he's 5'10 I do not know and if you want to pause just to look at the in-game stats it appears on every game so if you want to do that just press pause but as I was saying whether it's because of his height he just feels incredibly agile and he can shoot from any angle and we'll see the ball roll I use it all the time with Bo from kickoff take it around the goalkeeper and score I definitely feel like I made the correct decision by taking Bo I think the hunter helped him massively especially with the pace because it puts him right up there in terms of being very quick as he scores a last minute winner and to be honest out of the three games I played I believe I actually won all of them and it was mainly down to Gustavo Bo so into the final game score a turn in provider for Rui Diaz and then because in the three games I actually scored three hat-tricks which is pretty impressive to be honest for a card of this standard and as I said I personally feel like he has a five star weak foot because his finishing on his left foot is actually just incredible so this is the last clip we're finishing off with a chip so I will be back with the pros and cons of this bow card. Now that you've seen the gameplay for bow, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of this card now that I've actually used him. So it may vary from what I said in my who to take from level 30 video, but 
we'll be starting off with the pros. The pros of this bow card, I'd have to say his pace. Now, obviously I have the Hunter applied to him, so he actually has 94 acceleration and 96 sprint speed, so he's got 95 pace. His shooting is absolutely incredible. As you can see from the gameplay, I scored three hat tricks in three games. So he's just honestly unbelievable in front of goal. And one massive positive is his dribbling. His agility and balance are far better than what they actually say on his card. Because as you saw from the gameplay, he was agile. He was able to react very quickly and composure far higher than 84 personally what it feels like because he took a lot of shots but he scored a lot and then obviously his 97 jumping 87 strength and 93 heading accuracy that little combo he was an absolute monster in the air especially defensive corners and to be honest he's just an absolutely incredible card and for cons for this bow card, I mean, to be honest, I'm struggling to find any. Now, I thought his medium low work rates could have been an issue, but it seemed to have no effect whatsoever. I mean, if you really want to be nitpicky, then you could say the fact that he's in the MLS. But then again, he's Argentinian, so he's easy to link. So realistically, for cons, I don't think I can say he has any. So do I still suggest taking Gustavo Bow from level 30? Unsurprisingly, yes, I do still recommend taking Bow from level 30. He actually outperformed what I thought he would have. I thought he would be a good striker but he actually seemed to be an absolutely incredible player. So now I've chucked him on my bench for my main team and I'm hoping he carries on his goal scoring record. Obviously, Davidson, he now has that link to the road to the knockout TX era. So possibly taking Davidson and then Poro, I just think completely irrelevant. There's already far better fullbacks than him. So for me, I think I made the correct decision a couple weeks ago. And I highly recommend you take this Gustavo bow from level 30. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment down below if you will be taking bow from level 30. And if you're new around here, do consider subscribing, but for now, I'll see you in the next one.